Hey guys, welcome back. Well, you know, if you do props modeling in 3D, two things always come up, and that is books and binders. Now, I did a couple of videos on books in the past, so what we're going to model today are binders. Here we go. Hey guys, well, this one's going to be pretty straightforward. Um, we're going to start with, um, let's see, we'll do a polygon cube. All right. We're going to hit R to scale it up until we have the appropriate height. And you have the overall size that you're happy with, right? Then what you're going to do is you're going to go in and you're going to take these faces and delete them. And when you're happy with the height, you're going to go in here. You're going to right-click at an edge. You're going to take these two edges, go to Edit Mesh and uh, Bevel, uh, like that. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and Let's see, we'll do insert edge loop again. We'll set multiple and we'll set it to one for the simple reason that will allow us to put one right in the middle here and there as well. Okay, hit Q on your keyboard. We're going to select them both and I'm actually going to hit W to move them. So, first move them back a little like this, and then we're going to hit R and I'm going to pull them slightly together. All right, so that's how they typically would be facing. Uh, if you want to make them more realistic, you can take these two and push them slightly together like so. And then you need a, a label, of course, or something that you can use as a label. You can either add one uh, manually. Uh, you can do that if you want. Um, simply take a polygon plane, hit W, pull that out, pull that up. Control A to open up the attribute editor, and I'm going to go in and set this to one by one. That's fine. Let's hit E to rotate it in object mode. Yeah, E to rotate. Hold on J, and then let's go to. We can do the front. We'll do the back, but it's the same deal. So we'll hit four for wireframe mode, so we can see it better. We're going to hit R, and we're going to bring that in and stretch that out until we're happy with the position and so forth. And you can either create a label or create a little pocket for a label, okay, depending on what you want. But what we'll do here is we'll take one, two, and three edges. We're going to hit the Control E to extrude. We'll hit W to pull. And obviously that's going to be minimal, okay. And then we're going to hit Control E again, and we're going to hit R to scale out um like this and then we're going to go in and we're going to tweak those top two vertices this one and that one w to move down and make that level and then down here we're going to right click the edge and just move that edge up a little bit so it's more symmetrical okay now, if you want that to be uh, a, a pocket-like thing that you want to work with, you can do that. And if you want that little half circular thing on top there, what you do is go in and set insert edge loop to three on multiple. Put them in right there. Hit R to push them together like this. And then just go into the front. Right click vertex, there's one in the middle right there. Hit W and kind of push that down. Now, depending on whether you want to smooth or not, this is how you can do that. So we'll uh, take this and we'll push that in. I have to frame that so you can see where you're at. Okay. So that's that. And then you have the little circle in the bottom there. Okay. Now, the overall height is maybe a bit tall, so I'm going to go to Vertex and just kind of bring that in a little bit. So you need to determine where you want to have that circle, uh, typically close to the bottom there. So once again, Insert Edge Loop. Let's do it manually this time, so we can go in. And we'll do one here, and we'll do one here. Now, of course, you want to try and keep that square. Hit Q on your keyboard. We're going to right click go to face. 
Okay, so for that circle, we're gonna select this face right here, and I'm gonna hit uh, Control E to extrude because I want the circle to be slightly smaller than that face. So let's just uh, hit R and kind of bring that in a little bit. Let's say something like so. And then with that face selected, I'm gonna hold down uh, Shift and right click and go through Circularize Components right there. And then I'm gonna go in to add the vision. And as I do that, you see that it will turn into a perfect circle, like so, which is kind of neat. And then I'm going to hit delete. All right, and there you have it. Now, uh, that did create a problem, though. Uh, if we go into this face and I right click get a vertex, you'll see that we have vertices uh, along these lines here. And you don't want that, obviously, because that will create n-gons. So what you can do is go into your modeling toolkit. And just go in and go from here to there. Hit enter and just follow that path all the way around. Okay. Now, just for time's sake, I'm not going to do that right now, but that's how you make sure you don't have any end guns. All right. So we're just going to hit Q on the keyboard here. And what I want to do is um, create a little rounded edge here. So I'm going to go in. And we got that all selected right now. I'm going to hit Control E to extrude. Hit W to pull that out, which will give you something like this. We're going to hit G to repeat. We're going to hit R to scale in. Hit G to repeat again, and W to pull in, like so. And then, if you like, you can go in here, right click, go to Edge, double click, and Shift, double click, and go to Edit Mesh and Bevel and then increase that fraction a bit, increase the uh, segments a bit, not go crazy on that. And then there would be your binder. That's all there's to it, okay? So uh, like I said, uh, pretty easy. If you want to give it some thickness, you can do that. You just have to select this guy and uh, extrude it. Or you can select that entire uh, external edge there, like I did right here. Hit Control E to extrude. And let's do 0 0.1. Let's make that negative 0 0.1. Okay, so you can do that and we'll do a little bit less. Minus 0 0.02. Okay, so if you put that on a shelf, uh, I'm pretty sure you're good. Uh, we'll take this, hit Control D to duplicate. Hit W to move that over, Shift D, Shift D, and then we'll do one more, we'll move that over, hit E, kind of tilt it, you get the idea, right? So that's all this to it, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this quick little tutorial. If you have any questions, as always, let me know. And that said, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.